Hello friends, today we are going to start with a new module that is principal stresses and principal planes. And uh, this is the flow that we are going to follow. Where the first topic here is principal plane and principal stresses. Ba uh, basically introduction of this. Then we have equations for normal stress, tangential stress and resultant stress for general cases. Here we are going to talk about general cases at first. Then on the third number we'll understand equations for principal stresses and locations of the principal planes. So here after dealing with general cases, our next task is to uh, find out the equation or derive the equation for principal stresses and the locations of the principal planes. So basically, how can we find out principal stresses? The next is Mohr circle method to find normal and tangential stresses on an oblique plane. So here more circle is the key point. Then next is sign convention. As we have a following uh, sign convention in uh, shear force and bending moment diagram, here also a uh, typical sign convention will be followed to solve the numericals. Then the last topic here is complementary shear stresses. Uh, talking about equations and theoretical part, our, this is our last topic, complementary shear stresses. And then we'll be discussing all the examples based on the above theory. So moving ahead and quickly starting with our first topic that is principal plane and principal stresses. So today in our first lecture we are just going to understand the first topic that is principal plane and principal stresses. What are principal plane and what are principal stresses? So here is the definition of principal plane. The plane on which direct stress is acting is called principal plane. Here we already know that uh, what is direct stress, that is normal stress. We have understood this in uh, the module direct stress and strain. The plane on which direct stress or normal stress is acting is called principal plane. So here considering any two dimensional plane, suppose this is our two dimensional plane and if any uh, force is acting at 90 degree, it means again there is stress induced that is uh, direct or we can say normal stress because the force acting on the plane is at 90 degree force upon area is the formula of stress but uh, right now we are not considered uh, regarding the definition of the stress but uh, we can consider this plane is acted by a 90 degree force and so direct stress or a normal stress is acting so this plane on which the force is acting is known as principal plane and uh, on the principal plane, shear stress is zero, tau. So here basically we can say that only normal stress is acting this sigma on the plane and no this uh, shear stress acts on the plane. Uh, so continuing with principal plane part. Principal plane may be vertical, horizontal or inclined. See. Uh, the plane may be in any direction. This is horizontal in x-axis. Uh, basically, this is a two-dimensional plane uh, acted by a 90 degree force and which is converted to stress. So, we can say this principal plane. Here also, if it is on y-axis or we can say vertical, then also if the force is acting or the stress is acting at 90 degree, then we can say it as a principal plane. If still the plane is inclined but the force or the stress acting is again at 90 degree then also this is known as a principal plane. This sigma is direct stress uh, that is normal stress acting at 90 degree and PP is the principal plane. So these are the few examples of principal plane. How can we identify principal plane? Uh, again there are few examples which are not see this following are not the principal plane. Uh, there is a two dimensional plane, but uh, as we are seeing from the side, we, uh, only one uh, dimension is visible, so it is seen as a line. So here, if a stress might be acting at 90 degree, but if shear stress is acting in any direction, then it is not said as principal plane, because according to the definition of uh, principal plane, there is only normal or uh, we can say direct stress is acting on the plane. Here one extra that is shear stress is also acting. So this is not a principal plane. Again as per that uh, definition of principal plane. Uh, 
the force or the stress is acting only at 90 degree but here there is a particular angle at which the stress is acting so again this is also not a principal plane here there is no uh, direct stress or normal stress acting only a shear stress is there so this is also not a principal plane now after the completion of principal plane we will start with principal stresses what are principal stresses so principal stress may be defined as let me write down it uh, as principal stress here the definition is somewhat like uh, the magnitude of direct stress across a principal plane the magnitude of the direct stress that is here we can say it is a normal stress acting at 90 degree across the principal plane this is known as principal stress so basically we can say that the stress which was acting at 90 degree on a principal plane is principal stress and uh, lastly if you want to classify the principal planes then it is somewhat like this principal plane its classification so there are basically three types of uh, principal pl plane that is a uh, major principal plane first is major principal plane second is minor principal plane and the third one is intermediate principal plane principal plane here we can show the classification classification somewhat like this divided into three types now what do you mean by major principal plane uh, it is the plane which carries maximum direct stress it carries maximum direct stress so on any principal plane the plane which carries uh, maximum direct stress is known as major principal plane and uh, here minor principal it carries minimum direct stress and the last is intermediate principal plane so all other planes except uh, major and minor princi principal plane on any particular principal plane is known as intermediate principal plane so friends this was all about our first topic that is principal plane and principal stresses where we understood the definition of principal plane definition of principal stresses again classification of principal stresses and so on so this is all for today thank you for watching and wait for the second part of this video principal plane and principal stresses thank you for watching